Under the glow of stained glass, etched with the words, the truth will set you free, a community called for honesty and accountability. The events of our day serve as a stark reminder that here in Richmond, Virginia, the former capital of the Confederacy, we have a long journey ahead to truly live the principles and practices of deep democracy and transformative justice. One speaker after the next on Thursday addressed the shroud of controversy hanging over the Commonwealth of Virginia. We should not be surprised about what is happening in Virginia today. After Governor Ralph Northam and Attorney General Mark Herring admitted to using blackface decades ago. There will be some that try and act like blackface is just some cultural thing that we would do like some of us used to wear bell-bottom pants. <laughs> That is not what blackface is. Blackface is the instituting of the denigration of black people. During a chapel service on the Virginia Union University campus, Reverend Al Sharpton called for Northam's resignation. Why did you wait till somebody exposed it? Well, I would suspect that you felt if you exposed it, you wouldn't have got 87 percent of the black vote. Yeah. The civil rights activist said Northam can overcome this, but only out of the governor's mansion. But forgiveness without a price is not forgiveness, it's a pass. As for other political leaders who may have used blackface in the past. They ought to come out publicly. Everybody should have a, a, a yearbook or whatever archives vetting. Sharpton briefly addressed the sexual assault allegations being made against Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax, urging both sides be heard. This woman ought not be disrespected, but neither should Fairfax. As we look to the future, let us love each other. While the chaos plays out just miles away, people here hope to see trust restored, but know that will only come with reconciliation. Sarah Blake Morgan, The Associated Press.